Welcome to MTR's Vlogs. Today I came here at RV Trading for the review of the 2020 Nissan X-Trail. So let's not waste any time, let's start the review. But before that, this is a mid-size SUV. You guys wanted on the comments that do a review of a mid-size SUV. So I got the Nissan X-Trail for you. So let's not waste any time, let's start the review. So guys, before we start the review, let's talk about the history. So, Nissan started their company at 1914 and they changed it, their name at 1930 from Datsun to Nissan. Their first car was made in 1935. The picture is going to be over here. Before they built their first car, they used to make their automobile parts and sell it to everyone. But they started to make cars. And the first Nissan XL was made at 2001, but the production started from 2000. Okay, and this is the fifth generation of the Nissan XL. The first generation's picture is going to be here. And that's it for the history. Not that much, not that boring. This is something different from people's review. So now let's enjoy the full review. So guys, now let's start showing you the rear. So let's start from the up. You can see that functional shark fin with the radio antenna up there. And then if you go down, you have the rear sporty spoiler with the brake light, windshield wiper washer for the rear. Down there. And if you guys come a little far, you have the rear windshield. This windshield is heated. You need that in foggy days. Then we have the back. You have the Nissan logo with this chrome accent over here. The number plate slot with two number plate lights on both of the sides, a reversing camera over here and then if you go more down this is the boot opener one is here you can open the boot three ways you can do it from the inside you could do it from here and you can do it with your leg three ways you have the x-trail written over here with the RV trading sticker if you need this car contact with RV trading and this is the hybrid version that's why you have the hybrid over here now if we go down, you have four sensors at the back and four sensors at the front. So you can see the four sensors at the back and then another chrome accent. And this is a non-functional vent. This is just for cool looks. You have some reflectors on both of the sides. That's very nice. And then if we get up again, guys, then in the rear, you can open the boot three ways like I showed you from the key, from here and from the inside. And a fourth way, you could kick it and open it. So you have to unlock the car first. I don't know why and then you have to just go there and it opens there putting the key on my pocket right now so you can see this is the five-seater version because this is the Japanese domestic model but you can obviously get the seven-seater first of all if you get this up you have your space saver spare wheel down there and if you get this once down there's another compartment over here. There. So there's another compartment here. So guys, then after you close this, there, you have 460 liters. It is actually a decent sized boot because the hybrid batteries are here. So you can see it is a five seater. It's a 60-40 distribution, but you can obviously fold down the seats. So you have to just pull this. And then get the seat belt back and there and for the other side you have to go on the other side there there pull this again boom so now you have more cargo space so the total space you have now is going to be written that how much liters of space you have it's actually decent size you can put a bicycle without removing its wheels so now for closing the boot, you can do it from here and with the key. So I'm going to show you with the key because I showed you with the foot. Now let's show it to you with the key. So here we have the key, just press here and it closes. There, this is for the rear. We are not done with the tail lights. So now we are showing you the tail lights of the car. Now let's show you the tail lights. So let's go inside the keyless entry. Actually, it doesn't work all the time, so putting the key in my pocket again, and there we go in. So now on the inside of the car, so this is my foot on the brake, pressing the start button. 
the car has been started this is for the full light on with the hazards and this is for reverse there this is for the full light there now let's come outside and let's show you the back so the car just has been started from the hybrid battery so these are half led tail lights so these are full led this is the back the brake light this is the reverse light this is the hazard light another brake light over here very nice like it's simple it's not bad but it's not that good a very nice design of the back now let's show you the side profile so guys now let's show you the full side profile so first comes the fuel tank so let's open that you have to do it from the inside there it is there and it's opened there so the fuel tank capacity is 65 liters it is a decent size it is a hybrid it's not going to take that much fuel like the petrol one takes there we close that now we have the rear wheels so the rear wheels are 225 65 r17 so these are 70 17 inch wheels that come with the japanese model because this is the jdm this is not the indonesian this is the japanese domestic model you can see the four of the wheels have dicks because this is four wheel drive and it has a limited slip differential so it can send 50 percent power to the rear wheels and 50 percent power to the front wheels like every single car so people ask what is the difference of all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive all-wheel drive sends 60% power to the rear wheels and 40% power to the front wheels but four-wheel drive like SUVs get send 50% power rear wheel 50% power front wheel not any difference so all-wheel drives are in sedans and stuff like that but four-wheel drives are in SUVs like Range Rovers, GLS and Nissan X-Trails, Harriers so after we have the side you can see it has a very nice design with chrome accent the ground clearance is not that much it is 200 mm so it's okay it's a decent size then if we get up you have the chrome accents here chrome accents here and all the way go still here and the wheel base of the car it means the front wheels and rear wheel gaps is 2630 mm so it is a decent size because this car is really long and these side mirrors are heated it has a hazard a camera over here so it's heated then we have the front wheels but before that the hybrid logo the front wheels are also the same as the rear so they are also 225 65 r17s the same so this this was what this was for the side profile it is a very nice car now let's see what's the front so guys now we're showing you the front but before that this was the key this is the key for the nissan x -Trail. very nice and you have an emergency key over here in gold i'm just kidding this is just golden color there so this was the key now let's show you the front so if you unlock the car the daytime running lights turn on and then you have the front so let's show you the front because this is the 2020 model you get the newer grill the bigger grill with the new logo that's very nice over here chrome accents all around sensors there's four sensors at the front you have the number plate slot over here with that same chrome accent open air intakes for the radiators the front camera is over here very nice like the front is good this is for the tow hook it's massive and then you have the fog lamps over here with the four sensors and the headlamps so now we're done showing you the front let's show you the headlamps so now let's show you the headlights of the car so let's get inside the keyless entry here we go here so put on the brake pressing the start button there it has been started first light full light on with the fog on this is for the high beam this is for the high beam off hazards are on high beam high beam high beam and there so now I just smashed my shoe into the car cover. So these are the double projection headlights from Nissan. So in the older model, the 2014, you had a single projection. But now it has dual projection, one for the high beam, one for the main headlight, daytime running lights, hazards. Very nice front, like it's very nice. Then you have the fog lamps over here. 
yeah this is for the front now let's see what's the heart of this car so guys now let's show you the engine bay so for that we have to open it there and let's open the engine bay so you can get two variants for the nissan x trail one is the hybrid and one is the non-hybrid so this is the hybrid so let's open it it's over here it's very hot because it's it was just running so the engine two liter four cylinder hybrid engine and you can get another one that is a two liter four cylinder non-hybrid you have the engine right here you have the motor right here if you want to see the zero to 60 it's going to be over here and the weight of the car is going to be here the output this has 142 horsepower and 143 pound feet of torque if you want to see it in newton meters there it has a cvt transmission it is four wheel drive engine it's it not that much because there's not that much things on these engines there very nicely organized petrol engine insulation over here for closing it there wiggle that out and then put that there get it closer boom there we go now let's go to the beautiful interior so guys now we're on the interior so you can see this brown leather is so nice so let's first start with the dash full brown leather double stitched you have the ac vents over here it has gloss black treatment that's very nice but in every car it's chrome but this was i think option for gloss black you have a glove box it's actually very big you can put your documents for the car there so now over here the same gloss black treatment gloss black treatment i'm going to show you the climate control and the infotainment later AC vents again over here with the hazards in the center and a very nice design of the dash. Then if we go down, you have the gear knob over here. I'm going to show this part a little later. Now, the seat. This is a normal comfort seat, but both of the driver and the passenger are powered. The driver has lumbar support, but the passenger is just powered. So you can see it is fully powered. It comes first comes front goes back back rest there that's it it's a very nice design now let's show you the full this part with the glove box so guys then you have this you have the gear knob so let's start up the car then i can show you this there so this is the gear knob it has full gloss black and metallic finish full leather you have drive neutral reverse with the reversing camera and the 360 degree camera very nice and for park yeah so this was for the gear knob you have two cup holders you can put some large size coffee in there and this was a separator but you can put this you have heated front seats for both of the sides and you have heated rear seats too there and you have a small slot to put your key very nice very soft double stitch center glove box you can see this very deep and there's a small storage to put your phone here no that's not for your phone i think that is for the key yeah that is for the key there so this was it for the full side very nice you have the climate control i forgot about that so for turning it on you have to just press here so you have a tools on climate control so this is the temperature for this side this is the temperature for my side this is for the wind speed this is for where you want the air this is for inside auto or outside and this is for off there this is the infotainment system if you put the sd card then everything's going to start working but the sd card didn't arrive yet but if you buy this card they're going to install the sd card and then give it to you very nice like i love it now come from the driver's side Let's show you the steering wheel. So guys, then you have the steering wheel is fully leathered. It is manually adjustable, but it, it's telescope. So it goes up, down and comes to you. So this is the perfect position for me here. And then if you guys come closer, it is obviously a powered steering wheel. So it is very light. So it is a D type three spoke. Very nice. You have controls over here for the center screen. You have volume up and down, change track or back. You have the horn with the airbag in the middle. You have your cruise control. You have autopilot on this car. Very nice. You have call and voice command. You have call cut. There. 
So it is a very nice steering wheel over this side. You have your windshield wiper controls over this side. You have your headlight controls with your hazards there. So this was it. Now let's show you the RPMs. So guys, now let's show you the RPM. So let's start up the car. No, let's put it on ignition first. There it lights up and then let's start up the car. It does a full swipe and then it started because this is a hybrid there's no sound you have the rpm over here very nice you have ev written and the power for the hybrid so how much you have it on the brake how much you have it on the power you have the rpm also i told you you have the seatbelt warning it says it started from 1000 rpm you have a center screen i'm showing you that in a little moment the top speed is 180 km per hour this is for the fuel parking brake sign you have very nice lights in there too so now the center screen you control it with this side so if you just go here 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 you have driver's assistant you have clock you have meter setting vehicle setting and this is for the settings for your thing and then you have your alarm for the car and unit so if you go on the driving assistance here you have like your cruise control your parking helps go back you have your clock and more features so this is for the settings if you over here this are the warnings so there's no warnings on this car then this is for the safety system here and then if we go over here this is for the cruise control so I'm just gonna turn that on right away there so you can see now it is on you can set how much you want because the parking brake is on, it's not available now. So I'm going to turn it off. Over here, you have your G-Force meter. Over here, it's just blank. But I like the G-Force. So I'm going to leave it like this. You have a time with AM. I don't know why. A 20, this is for the outside temperature. This is for if you're on park, reverse, drive, or L. There. You have the mode, so it's on eco right now, that's why it's that. But if you turn off eco, there, so there's one driving mode. Then you have how much fuel you left, so you, have, you can go with this fuel over here. And this is the mileage of the car, there. So yeah, very nice in my opinion. Now if you guys go back a little bit, here we turn it off and everything goes. Now if we open the door, here. You have some stuff over here so you have like the power tailgate off or on you have the power tailgate opener traction control eco the front camera sensor off this are this is the headlight just adjuster and you have the thing that you use at japan for your tools and both opener come up this is for the temperature for this the rpm and the ac vent with that gloss black accent you have a light over here for the blind spot monitoring there so that if someone comes at the back that's going to turn on there very nice so now if i come out this is the door you have the same gloss black treatment over here with chrome door openers and you have your window controls only the driver side is auto and these are adjustable you have lockers over here lock unlock you have your door pockets it's actually yeah you could put a single water bottle and some hand sanitizers you have a speaker over here very nice now let's turn off the car let's go on the rear seats now so guys now on the rear seats so you need more storage that's why the seats are folded but now let's get it up so here this is the 60 side there put the seat belt on its place let's get inside here we go in and this is the 40 side so get the seat belt out and seat back in there so the rear seats you can see it has that same full brown interior it's actually very comfortable yeah you have full leather i'm going to show you the door there you have a center armrest too with two cup holders very nice and yeah it's very comfortable because it has a CVT transmission, it's not a big hub, so you can put your leg over here. You have two center AC vents for the rear. 
and you have seat pockets on both of the sides. There, a center light here. That's for the door. Then if I come to this seat, this is it. Very comfortable actually. Then if we show you the rear door, you have the same double stitch full leather. You have some storage to put your trash. Then the window openers are over here. Door openers are over here. Very nice, you have rear privacy glass too with rain shades that I forgot to talk about. You have door pockets and the speaker. So now if I come out, I forgot to talk about the rain shades. So in every single Japanese domestic car, rain shades comes and rain shade is really helpful in rainy days or weeks. Very nice. So now we're done with the review. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We're so close to 30K subscribers. Let's hit that 30K mark. And you guys are going to go to the close view of the car right now. So enjoy the close view. We're going to see you at the ending. I just finished the close view so now we're on the ending of the car so let's get out here so this car if you need this car contact with all trading there's Facebook page in the description very nice car let's talk about the price the price is around 55 lakhs to 56 lakhs for this car so the competitors the competitors are the Nissan X-Trail the Honda CRV, and the Toyota RAV4 these are competitors for each other comment down below which one is the best but in my opinion, I think the XL is somewhere more up than both of them. So, if you are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you need this car, contact with all your trading Facebook page at the description. See you at the next review. Peace.